wow, I really am starting my video off in the nicest environment because I'm right next to a dumpster me and my channel. So Groovy Girlies, in today's video I am testing out some waterproof makeup and I'm literally going to the extreme to test out these makeup products. The brand that I'm using is called Gosh and I have been sent this so it's gifted. But apart from that my opinions are going to be completely honest and true and I'm just really excited to see if it actually works. So yeah, let's go wipe off this full face and start again. What's up? Have you got foundation on? No. Oh, well, oh I've got that. Oh, have you got foundation on? <laughs> Talk 24 hour and comfort. Foundation. You are such an idiot. So I do have foundation and concealer on and I obviously haven't like got powder or anything on yet because I am going to use the Gosh products for that. I am really scared because I still want to look good. Obviously for the rest of this video I'm also vlogging today so I don't want to look like trash. So Gosh better pull through with these products. Some of them look really interesting like we've got a 3 in 1 eyebrow product, eyeshadow and eyeliner. I don't know if they're going to be good but we're going to try it. Oh my god this powder's leaked everywhere. Setting powder that makes your makeup waterproof apparently so it should work on any concealer. And I think it's meant for people like me with no tits. So Gosh actually didn't send me any bronzer, so I'm just going to use my own. So if that comes off, not their problem. That's on me. So I've got my bronzer and highlight on. Now, I normally do my brows, so I assume we're just going to, hmm, try out these. They're a bit, um, not dark enough for me, I don't think. There's a grey brown. That sounds really weird. Nude. Sand. I highly doubt I'm going to be sand. Brown, that might be the one. And then we've got ash and black. I'm obviously not going to be black, but that would be good for the eyeliner. See, I'm normally ash brown in the Beverly Hills one. I would assume I would be ash in this as well. Oh, what? That is so light. What the fuck? That's like concealer. It's an eyebrow product. It's called ash. Huh? And I'm ash in Anastasia Beverly Hills. That is literally concealer. I mean, obviously people with lighter hair, but I don't think anyone has that eyebrow color. Oh, this looks promising. I need a really thin brush, but I don't actually have one, which is so annoying. So excited, as you can tell by my face. <laughs> I actually am really thankful to have these products sent to me, obviously, and I really want them to work because, yeah, I'm gonna be on the beach a lot, so this would be really helpful. I mean, it's very pigmented. Okay, so I can't really do the same as what I normally do, so I'm trying to like fade it upwards. Application was literally incredible. Like, I did that in two minutes not even that probably a minute actually i mean i don't normally do them this thick but i feel like with this product you can't do it any lighter concealer concealer so first you want to get your concealer it's very watery like creamy i don't know how to explain it I feel like we kind of need to go big or go home you know powder's dried quite nicely so hopefully keeps my makeup on i only really need it to keep my concealer under my eyes on because when i go in the sea that is a joke it comes off like no tomorrow next i guess is eyeliner so in their defense this is probably going to be really bad eyeliner from me because I don't have a thin brush with me. So I've just kind of like makeshifted one out of my eyebrow brush. Is that a little pig? Is that a little pig? It kind of looks a bit brown to me, but I'm not really hating on it. It's just the fact that it said it was black. Gosh, am I right? I really don't think this is going to be waterproof. Like I really don't. I'm putting it on and it's smudging. So how the hell is that going to be waterproof? And it's brown and it says black. What are we going to do about that then, hun? I'm going to assess this eyeliner and see if it's any different to normal. It literally does look brown doesn't it? I'm so dumb. They gave me an eyeliner. Actually, this would be really good to do my triangle because I don't know if you can see, but it's like really, really flat, which is good. Oh my God, this is so perfect for doing my triangle. <gasps> wow. No, that is so perfect. I'm actually in love with that. No, I'm seriously in love. I probably shouldn't have done the three-in-one eyeliner because this is so much better, but at least I'll get double protection. That's what we need nowadays, kids. <laughs> Now we're going to do mascara. This is the Catchy Eyes Waterproof Mascara. Who wants to bet it's not going to be waterproof? It's definitely doesn't do it to my bottom lashes. It just hasn't really done much to my top. But then I feel like I don't have long eyelashes. So maybe that's why. This literally hasn't done nothing to my top lashes like at all. I'm going to have to put eyelashes on today. And I'll just take the eyeliner with me and rip the lashes off before I go in the sea. And then we can see if this makeup's waterproof. That's actually all the waterproof makeup that I've got. So I guess I'm just going to apply my lipstick as I normally would. Then we can just go to the beach. I'm also going to 
gonna be wearing it throughout the day while I'm shopping and stuff just to see how long it wears in the sun. It doesn't specify that it will last in the sun, but I just wanna see anyway. So we've just been walking around Westfield and makeup seems pretty intact. Wet proof, I assume, so far. Haven't really properly tested that out, but I just thought I'd give you an update because it has been a good like two, three hours since I put the makeup on. So now we actually are heading to the beach. We're going to Santa Monica and we're gonna skewer all the way down to Venice Beach. So we will see if it's sweat proof then. And then finally on Venice Beach, I can run into the water and test if it is waterproof. We shall see, darling. Any smudging? No smudging at all. The wind is probably so loud that you can't really hear me. I'm trying to like protect it from the wind as much as I can. It's not really working. But we finally arrived at Venice Beach. I'm just gonna go take some photos and then we're gonna go in the sea. Yes, bitches. Oh, it's found something good. Well, if you're just watching this guy metal detect, it's really funny because I want to see if he pulls up like, oh, I don't know, Cartier ring or something. I'm really intrigued. Oh, really? I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. But the actual eyeliner, I mean, apart from a little bit, has actually said on it. You can still see the outline shape of it. Yeah, what else with their makeup did you have on? I had their powder under my eyes, so concealer. Okay, the powder and the concealer has come off, I'm not gonna lie to really? you. Really? It's like there a little bit, but it hasn't like completely stayed on. Oh, Eyebrows? Blush. Oh, blush. Blush is still there a little bit, but I don't know if that's a natural flush. Might just be so. It might be a natural. And then eyebrows. Eyebrows are set on. And then like, faded also pretty dark. I mean, I think they're faded a tiniest bit, but not like you did put a lot of water on your I face did. though, to be fair. And I'm gonna double check. Like, it. Yeah. I'm gonna do clean water now. Paz is about to pour a whole bottle of water on her face for your guys' entertainment. Oh my god. People are literally thinking, what the hell is she doing? I can taste Fraser's spit. <laughs> <laughs> I should be able to open my eyes, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit murky. I mean, I just did that on my eyes, right? And it's like flaking off. Your eyeliner is starting to move it a has. lot now, yeah. But I can't wait just go like that and see if it comes off. Do it. Oh, no, the actual shape is still there. Really? Yeah. I mean, the more you... No, the shape is still there. It's not smudging. It's just light. It's going lighter. So technically it is. It is. It's just going lighter because the shape hasn't moved. That's really good. Because I've just run into the sea, I can't do my Baywatch scene anymore, which means Anna needs to do it because for me. Even I slow-mo like... Right, let's go do your Baywatch scene, darling. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 